Hello everyone, my name is Dominique de Manet. I'm from Munich, Germany. I am a writer, I am a social entrepreneur and I'm a mental health advocate and I'm also Mental Health Europe's senior policy advisor on youth and I'm really happy that I have the chance to talk to you about something that is very important to me and this is mental health role models. Um, what do I mean by that? Why do I think it is important that we have mental health role models and why am I trying to be one even if I've never intended to be one? And the first time that I came across this being a role model was during one of my school projects. So I go to schools um, and talk to pupils about my own experiences um, of 15 years living together with borderline, with depression and addiction. And I tell them how bad it was, but also how good it is now and how happy I am today and how many things I have done today that for a long time I've never even ever thought that I was ever going to be able to do. Being it, I've written a book, I've run a marathon, I've climbed mountains. I have turned 33 when for a long time I didn't ever expect to make it to my 30th birthday. And I share my story with them and they are able to ask questions. And during one of those projects at the, at the end, um, the girls said to me um, what, how, how encouraging it was for them to hear my story and what a role model I was for them. And at the beginning, at the first I was really, no, I'm not a role model. I am not a perfect human being. I, um, I have my weaknesses and I make mistakes. But there were a couple of those girls who repeated that. And after this project, I, I thought of that for a long time. And I started to see what they meant by this, because many of those girls in this particular project were in a very similar situation that I had once been in, um, being it um, living with traumatic experiences, with addiction, with anxiety. And with me, they had a person in front of them that had been at the same place that they were in right now, but had somehow made it through all this. And I, I'm very honest that in all my projects and all my work that this way out of my illnesses was a really hard one. It took a lot of work, it took a lot of time, it took a lot of relapses. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Um, but I don't say that there's a shortcut or anything. But for them, the, the important thing to see was that all this work is worth it and that there is a perspective for them, that there is this tunnel that they are in and everything seems dark and suddenly there is somebody showing them that at the end of this tunnel there is a light and there is a lighter place and there is hope and there is a life and there are dreams and possibilities and for a long time they they didn't see this perspective they didn't see that this tunnel there had an end and then suddenly i was there showing them yes there is and maybe this tunnel will keep on going for a couple of weeks months even years but at the end there is a light and uh, they they also said this this was some kind of orientation like a compass being in the midst of a crisis being in the grasp of depression of anxiety of addiction of any form of disorder you can start to lose your way and everything seems so dark and no hope in anywhere and even if you start therapy and you see start to see that there's progress that there's change then this doesn't necessarily mean that you have a long-term goal that you have a long-term perspective and you're just living one day one day at a time which is really a good thing to do in recovery but sometimes it helps to see to see the future and um, to get a glimpse of what life after all this work could look like and um, somehow this was what I was doing to these girls, showing them that there is a perspective, that there is a light. And um, I can really say today that on a scale from 0 to 10, when with 10 being incredibly happy and 0 being suicidal, I've spent so many years up at the lower range, maybe 2 was my highest, and today I can say I'm living a full 9 
which doesn't mean that my life is perfect or every every day is good and sometimes my depression kicks in and uh, struggles me down on the couch for a couple of days but overall I have a very very good quality of life and I have a life that I've really never thought um, to ever be possible and these are the stories that I think we need more and if I think back to when I was like 16, 17 and my illnesses were really having control of everything in my life. The, if I had heard stories of people who had gone through something similar but, had, but who had made it through this, it would have changed so much for me because it would have given me some form of orientation, some form of perspective. And of course it does help if really successful people start to share their stories being it actors soccer players um like people like michael phelps or the two princes harry and william in the uk and it does something to people when they have successful people telling them yes of course i have been through anxiety i have depression um there had they have been crisis in my life and they are part of life and still i'm standing here today living a happy life living a ha living a life that some people would call successful and those things don't have to stand apart they can be part of one life um, at the moment what the media at least in germany seem to tell us that either you are successful happy have a family have a job or you have a mental illness but that there are many many people out there i love to call them invisible warriors who have both who have some form of maybe uh, experience in their past or maybe even in their um, life today but still have a family have a have a have a job um, have hobbies have dreams and everything and despite or maybe because of what they have gone through um, i think the more we tell these stories the more empowering it is to people some steps behind us on the recovery journey and for me it would have been a game changer if I had heard my story at the beginning of my own story if there is, would have been somebody saying yes it is really really dark now and I know everything sucks and I know you have no idea um, how you shall ever get through this but trust me been there done that and it's worth it um, please hold on I can I can assure you it's gonna be okay and um, you can do this there is a way through this and this is really what I encourage I mean I'm sure that many of you are mental health role models in their own community for for many many people and via social media so many people have written what by just sharing my story and my story is not extreme or special it is incredible normal I would say so many people have been something through something similar but by me sharing my story in a book on in the media on social media and sharing my journey my steps my life today and my life back then it gives people hope it's like i'm a holder of hope for for many people that are still in darker places and the messages i get from people just because i shared my story because i i speak openly about it encourage them to get help to share their stories and it passes on and it's there's a there's a great ripple effect and i think we have together we can we can break this this thing that mental illness and a happy life have to stand apart we can the more of us that show this this can be part of one of the same life and one of the same person is very very encouraging and i really really think we need this and at the moment in germany we don't have many celebrities talking about their mental health issues i can see in other countries what it does to the conversation and how much it helps because somehow for people on the street when they say oh this prince he has got anxiety then i can have anxiety too it really is a game changer and to be a mental health role model you don't have to be the biggest celebrity you can start by sharing your story and to tell the things that you wish somebody had told you when you were back there. Just imagine what it would have done for you and trust that this is what you can do for other people out there. And yes, this is why I think we need mental health role models. This is 
why still struggling with it but i think okay i am a mental health role model and if it helps anybody out there i'm continue to do that and i'm really looking forward to any questions and thank you very much that i was able to share these thoughts with you